Hi, Mark here from Applied Design Intelligence. This will be just a brief little demonstration of a smart part, in this case a U-bolt. I made it according to Fastenal specifications. There's 15 stainless steel 316 bolts in their collection and this smart part will represent them all. It's an iLogic smart part, of course, so you need to do place iLogic component in order to place it. All right, I have this set up so that it only it only shows part number, but I could change that. And I faked some part numbers uh, based on the size of the U-bolt. The last number here tells how big the U-bolt is, so it goes from 1 inch to 15 inches. Let's start with a 6 inch. And then place three of them. Okay, now that's three instances of the same U-bolt. This would be for like a manifold or something where you have several U-bolts that are that all need to uh, be the same. And now I'll place place another. And this time, we'll just leave it at 15. And place that as well. All right, now we have four U-bolts in there. Uh, these three are on a manifold or something where you need a similar U-bolt. So now I can go into the iLogic form and when I change one, they all update. And that includes their, uh, their part numbers. Let's see what the part number is on that. If I drill down to the part level for the bolt itself, what we see in the eye properties is that because this is a 9 inch bolt it is grabbing the information for a 9 inch bolt. I have this set up uh, temporarily on the same spreadsheet that's pulling in all the information for all the other parts in the model and it's given a phony price of $9 But if I were to uh, if I were to change this, go to the form and change this to a 15 inch. Now they're all 15 inches, and drill down to the part level. Check the eye properties again. Now it's pulling in the price for a fifth or the information the description and the price for a 15 inch bolt u bolt and all three of them updated and there's also the position of the hardware i have it set to automatic but if it's set to false let's see Enter 9 inches. I'm not quite sure what this would be. Set 15 inches. And all three of these are updating because these are um, three instances of the same U bolt. Uh, we change it to 14. So when they're in a, a configurator model, you wouldn't be using this form. These would just be pulling in information from the configurator itself. But you can place these um, just as they are. And you have every U-bolt in your, um, every U-bolt that the company uses all within one 
assembly and you'll get the information for all of the hardware as well. Okay, that's about it. Thanks for watching.